Hello, hello, hello. I am very freaking tired. So hello. I'm just going to jump right into it because I'm sure I'm just hanging out and being tired. We're just saying, it's never mind. My eyes hurt. Oh, all right. I'm in the middle of doing story stuff, so I'm playing as Jane Doe, I think. Yeah, I forgot I was in the middle of doing this. It's you. What are you doing this time? Can't you keep it down? What? I can't remember my support dance now. I can't even speak freely. Hey, being loud doesn't break the boss's rules, does it? Huh? You want to redeem yourself? Not. And keep it down. Softly. I do. Listen, using force and intimidation only make people resent you. If you want it to be truly respected, you need to demonstrate strength that go beyond just brute force. I know that. Uh, of course I'm aware of that. Uh, to be more precise, what am I supposed to do? If you're a veteran of the Mountain Lion Gang, and you've been here much longer than me, just show us how well you know about the gang, okay? For instance, didn't you say you were studying the rules of this transfer station? Show us what you're show us what you've learned. How many members are permanently stationed here? What are the standards for supplies? What is the situation in the surrounding area? Uh, uh one patrol team is always stationed here. Standards for supplies. Um supplies should be prepared for three standard safe corruption cycles. The surrounding area includes evacuation passages with mechanisms. How do we evacuate via these passageways? Hmm, if I remember correctly, you have to get through a series of mechanisms. You need a special electronic key card held by a designated person to, huh? Is this something I'd share with others? Of course not. That was a test of your confidential awareness. You did well. Anyway, use your knowledge to prove your qualifications as a senior and stop getting into brawls. Work hard on it. As for the supply distribution, I'll think of something. Okay. Yeah, smash indeed. It literally, I think, in Bulkminster Hell Crater, like, she, cr I think. One of them had a vote just after, I think, this story content release, so like, so many people were voting for her. So the final mechanism needs a special electronic key card. Chain faces without leisurely, as she needs to think of um, her next steps. We've got key intel, it's time to come up with some countermeasures. What should I start with? Food and medical supplies. The lions are mad about having to share supplies with the hostage if this continues. Things are going to slip out of my control sooner or later. Playing up with more food and medicine won't just solve a problem here. It'll improve my standing with the rest of the gang. Another switch. The last switch near the transfer station needs a special keycard to open and it's been improvised out of spare parts. Which means creating a fake keycard to brute force it shouldn't be tricky at all. Seeing as the NEPS has just the facilities you need to do just that. There's only a scene with Billy where he stopped her chair and Jane is very playful with his legs noised. I... what? <laughs> okay. I haven't gotten to that scene yet, so that should be interesting. Mm, looks like I'll have to find a way to duck out, find a precinct, and secretly put together a master keycard using their tech. It'll be a good chance for me to get some food, medicine, and other supplies to appease these thugs of the transfer station and keep them from venting their anger on the hostages. I need to chat with the guard at the gate see if I can find a way out.
Then didn't even start fighting boring. I tried to talk to him, Nike. You seem pretty disappointed. Do you like a rubber you like rubber necking? Miss Jane, you can't call us rubberneckers. Who do you take us for? With the mountain lion gang. We are founded on force. A lion's always got to sharpen its claws, right? Oh, well said. I'll leave the next patrol to you then. So you can sharpen those claws of yours. Now that's totally cool. Patrolling is a great opportunity for me, and it's it's just this, you know, right? What I mean is it's not that I don't wanna go, it's just look at me, you know. Just, you know. Night, you're not sharper than your claws at this point. But listen up. You're in charge of the transfer station exit, right? I'm gonna duck out for a second. Huh? You wanna go outside into the hollow? The big boss said we shouldn't do anything rash. I can't make that decision, Miss Jane. Of course, I'm going out for the sake of her brothers. Didn't those two almost come to blows over supplies? I want to go out and fetch more food and drink for everybody. More supplies, then we can all hold on to a little more. It isn't easy in this line of work. What's wrong with earning a little on the side? I see, I get what you're saying. But I mean, the rules are set by the boss, and a pibiscus like me don't got the power to go against him. It's, you know, right? What I mean is, you know, when we think it over. Alright, alright, enough. Just tell me, what do you want? I want to watch a thriller, The Port Peak. The director's cut, either on desk or videotape. Whatever, I just need that movie, and I've got all the gear to watch it. Sure, now let me out. Got it. Next time you have a request, cut the BS and just tell me straight. Alright, Miss Jane. Uh, you have no idea how boring it is standing guard here. There's no signal in the hollow, and I can't even stream any movies, so I'm really holding out for you to bring me that movie. Come on, I'll show you how to get out. Phew. Okay, so that, that's as far as I can take you. Next up, uh, you can find girl with pink hair. She's out, our insider on the outside, and she can help you out with whatever you need or wherever you want to go. I told her the basics now with Paula. I see. You better head back before any ethereal start together here, too. Right, see you. See ya, then. Don't forget my movie. Girl with pink hair, huh? the slightly cocky bit where you look in her eye turns to look at Jane, eyes fixed firmly on her face. There's something on my face. I never expected to see such a beautiful lady join up the mountain again. I thought you were all rough around the edges like Razor. Hmm. Speak for yourself. The guard already explained everything on the outside help, so if you need to go anywhere, just talk to me. If you want to get back to the transfer station, just tell me. I'll be around. Now, I'll come you when I need you. Speaking of which, I do need your help with something else beautiful. List here. Help me put together these extra costs. I'll give you an extra 30% of your work. How about it? Straight for us, you're beautiful. Alright, <laughs> don't be too flirting. Alright, I'll send someone for your supplies. And by the way, I like you. Can I add you a knock knock? <laughs> Get me that stuff, not think about it. All the things to you then. Excellent, that's supplies secured. Next up is that master key card. Where are you off to, beautiful? Let's go off to Luminous Square. Okay, I know where the way the Nips patrols. Come on.
It's a bang a boo. Quality tea. Oh. Apparently, I don't know how to get around. Some of square branch, but unfortunately, Operation Hope is still top secret. I'm gonna put security out or try to strut in there without warning. They'll arrest me to keep out of sight. They still got officer stationed. How professional for paying the neck for me right now. Is there any way to lure people outside for a while? Or get reeks of booze and vomit here? These drunks are a bit too much. They're starting to harass the ordinary citizens. I should stop them first, then figure out. Wait, there seems to be the perfect solution for both sides. Here's your order. It's the finest, most aromatic, top quality stuff. Huh? Hey, hey, who are you? Trust me, run to the precinct. They're being unfair to you right now. You need to ditch them. Oh, I get it. Uh, let's move it again. Alright, or we'll be gone. It's right in the private room up ahead. Ah, oh, director, you gave us a dish for free. Go, 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 go. Right here. Come this way. Come on, run, run, run into the precinct. Under Jane's lead, the band of drunks rush into the public security precinct, completely ignoring the on-duty officer trying to block them off. Clever. Thanks, I made it now that everyone can start. I can read the equipment room for that key card. Oh, okay, that just opened. I didn't think it actually would. The key to the interior equipment room is in the locker. I got a punch in the six digit code. Wait, who wrote a little note about the passcode down at the bottom here? Some absent minded officer. One of the first three digits. Oh, wait. I should probably actually read the note. Because the game makes me do that, if you know. To save the fans for forget vulnerable stuff, the most frequently appearing number around here is the passcode to make things easier. Frequently appearing number? Here to be listed quite a few times. It's 101. Okay, so I'm going to appear twice, and I'm going to appear twice. 225. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any numbers. I think I have the best good. Mm -hmm. Lock it up into my six. Into the passcode. What are the first three digits? 101. The last three digits. I think it's 225. It's open. Time's running out, and those drinks will soon be taken care of. Gotta hurry inside to the cut room to get the master key card. Cool. Finally, access the equipment room. The master key card should be in here somewhere, and the lights are out, but whatever. I'm used to operating in the dark. As for the footage captured by the corners, finally I'll just have to wait for Zoo Yan and Ryan to help me with it. Take care of some of the equipment room. The master key card is a low level NEPS offset, and Jane quickly finds one by rummaging around in the dirt. She leaves the room, though, because between the drunks and the officers at the lobby is still raging on. So I have the key card. I have the master key card that leads in. Should have gotten us the fights by now, right? The only thing left is to do somehow score the movie that kid asked for. Where am I going to get it? Just send them over at Luminous Square. Let's check it out. Yep, don't mind me. Changes the tone of rice to transform into that and music by Neve Movie Novice. Good evening. Is this where you can buy movies? You want to buy a movie here? Are you for real? You just want to buy the whole masterfront? Ah, I can't believe that there's kind of everything more hardcore than us. I'm touched. 
I have. Good, good evening, miss. I assume you're wondering if you can buy discs for home viewing here? Cinemas don't usually sell them. Oh, is that how I thought you could buy them here? I'm looking for a movie my friend recommended. I think it has Mountain in the title, and it's a thriller. Hmm, that's a bit vague. Travis, you got an idea? I'm not sure that I know someone who'd know this, miss. I don't mind renting it. I know a good store. They have a massive collection and a wide variety. And the owners are very, are very knowledgeable. They'll definitely be able to help. Wow, that sounds absolutely- that sounds amazing. What's the name of the store? It's called Random Play. It's close by, over on 6th Street. If you're quick, you should be able to get there in time before they shut for the night. Great, at least I know I can find the movie on 6th Street. Public transportation will get me there quickly, but current identity, it's too dangerous. I should go back and find the contact. She might be able to help. There she is. Where do you need to get to? Do you know how to get to 6th Street? Of course I do. It's tiny. Just come with me. I know the roads to avoid a pub sack. I'll control it. Yeah, I've pretty much put together all those supplies you asked for. I'll be ready to be back when you do. Supplies are good. So it's the master key card. Now the movie is all that's left. Time to find a video star. What was it called again? Random play. I mean that one right there. I get to meet me. Oh, minutes ago, outside the Sixth Street Metro Station, I said, "Bell and Wise are walking home from the Mess Square." Uh oh. Ah, uh, finally back. Ugh, oh, seriously, that officer lady said the renewal process is going to be fast. Now oh, it's dark already, and I'm so hungry. Hmm. Aren't we back late because of all that shopping at Lumina Square? You can't blame the public security officer for that. Why do you always have to side with somebody else, bro? Even if I was shopping for a while, you could still blame the licensing office for taking so long and affecting the store's business. Either way, it's because you went shopping. All right, all right. I don't want to fight. You're hungry too, yeah? Let's get back to the store, check things over, then get some food. And I'm picking the place today since all the shopping affected business at the video store. Huh? How come? You're definitely just going to pick noodles again. Let's make a bet. If no customers come by, then I get to choose. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, little missy, but it looks like you'll be eating noodles tonight. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, who are you? Excuse me. Are you two the owners of this video store? I'd like to rent a movie. Not long after inside the random play store. I see. You want to rent a thriller that's about mountains. Hmm. If we use that as a keyword, then... It's all my fault. I wasn't paying attention and forgot what the exact title was. Who knew it'd be so hard to remember? It's a tough search for one thing. But secondly, well, we've already shut down for the day. Rebooting our computers and getting all your customer info would be a bit of a hassle now. I see. Seems that's a problem for you. Well, I guess I'd better try my luck at another more professional video store then. Well, <laughs> good for you then, Missy. Since I'm not technically a customer, I guess you won't have to eat noodles tonight. Oh, uh, hold on one moment there, dear customer. On second thought, you came all this way <laughs> just to see us. Thanks, Liz. So, we should honor your effort and find this movie for you. Ah, are you sure? Then what about rebooting all the computers and that other stuff? We can just start a tab under your name for now. It should be fine. Huh? You sure are quick when it comes to business, bro. What? I just want to prove that Random Play is the most professional video store there is in town. Aren't we, like, the only one? Excuse me, but about your friend who wants to see the movie, what are they like? Are they brave? He acts brave on the outside, but doesn't really dare to do anything ever. And he's great at making excuses. Sounds like an entry-level thriller fan. Oh, isn't that about the same as you, Wise? Which of the new thrillers have you dared to watch? It might be better not to use me as the benchmark, Belle. As the owner-operator of a video store, I watch each and every movie with the same professional attitude. Nice! Yes. Then after dinner... Let's do a little thriller movie marathon. So far, I've only dared to watch Silent Valley, The Big Hollow, and The Port Peak. Ah, I've heard of Silent Valley before, but I don't think that's the one my friend wanted. 
Really? The Big Hollow doesn't really have much to do with mountains, and it's not even a thriller. So it has to be the Port Peak, then. A brutal chainsaw-wielding monster haunts a bunch of backpackers in these wintry mountains. There's plenty of thrilling action with splattering blood Hi, and sauce. gore. Practically every scene has prop arms and organs bleeding all over the place. I think I'm going to have vegetarian noodles tonight. <laughs> Judging by your description, I'd say that it's definitely the Port Peak, then. Thank you so much. You really helped me out here. I won't forget it. Uh, wait a second, miss. You can keep the change. Use what's left over to treat your sister to her favorite dessert. It's on me. Bye now. Wow, that rat firing girl sure has that riz. I love her. I was going to say that she forgot to put her name down in the account book. Oh, there's a bean boy. Sauce, be nice to your brother. A few days after being licensed photos inside random play. Oh, okay, I'm back here. I'm still in the story if I... But I at least can access the menu now. Oh, let's be nice to your brother. He's a sad boy. Wolf wolf. I was speaking to a customer. Oh, hi beans. I want, hmm, I'll take this book with the Bang Boo photo puzzles. Wolf. You know where I'll be putting the free puzzles. There's only room for three more frames on the table. Hello. I'll get it. For house sake, I'll take all volumes that are redutory. I'll order them immediately. Wolf wolf. Girl quickly writes down her contact information on the form that Hal brings her, and she checks the option for all 12 volumes. When she's done, she gives Hal a rub before leaving happily. Hal is quite the hustler. The annual edition of the Redutori tour is available for order now. Oh, the freebie is puzzles made from pictures and previous issues. Woof woof. Why are you looking at me like that, buddy? Check out the puzzle book. Hal pauses and thinks for a moment, then brings it over the puzzle book and passes the book twice with its paw. You want me to do the puzzle here? Woof. How could it turn that now? Let's get started. Hmm. Move all the puzzle pieces to the correct positions to complete the puzzle. Press you to view the complete puzzle. Oh, okay, so can I, I just move the pieces wherever? You get corresponding rewards. Clear shuffle the current puzzle and try again. Be sure you want to scramble the pieces. It's showing you can re experience the puzzle, exit turn the puzzle where it's form. Oh. That goes there. That goes there. That's there. Let me swap. There we go. So you go down one here. The bang boo's over here. Wait, where? His arm's right there. You swap, and that swaps. There we go. I am all on those. That goes there. That goes there. Oh, that's cute. Bird there. That's Hal's face right there. There's his ears. I think this goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Turtle boy is down here. And kitty is there. Bird's right there. Um, ah. There. There. And there. I think that 
goes there. That's there. That's there. That does not go there. Oh, yes, it does. It goes there. This goes up here. There we go. Ah, hi, Fire Lord. How are you? That goes there. This goes there. There. It's two bang boos racing. Ah, so that goes there. There. Yeah, that goes there. That goes there. Goes there. This goes up here. Uh, ah. Here. What beans are you chirping about? That goes that way. No, that does not go. It goes there. This goes here. Yes, buddy. And. There. Right there. That goes there. Let me swap. Okay. I want those. And one more puzzle. Oh, goody. There. Back one. There. Oh, nope, that's not right. That one. Uh, there we go. Two bang boos fighting. Look at the next one, please. Um, that goes there. These go here. Oh wait, no, that's not right. That goes there, and then that goes there. That goes that way. He goes there. This goes there. That goes there. That does go there. Go, let me swap. Cool. There. No, that's not right. There, there, there. That's not right. There. there, that goes there. Mm, this fits there. This fits there. That fits, those fit that way. This would fit there. Let's go there. Is it's flip. No swap. Got it. Alright, and then I think I can't do the last one yet. It's not unlocked. Yeah, haven't unlocked the last one. Woof woof. Oh hi, dude. The rest of the puzzles aren't here yet, so I'll wait. I'll swing by next time. I'll give my spare time ticket. Woof woof. This is the new Jigsaw event lately. How seems to be all in. I want my scratch card. Hey, I got three wolves. I got three owls. Okay. Why are you here, Anton? Proxy, you're finally here. Rose features in your hands. 
What happened to your bro? He gets military tech just put out a new mail about taking care of weapons. Aside is all the professional stuff about rigorous training weapon maintenance work for Germans. That's how useful, but that's not the point here. The point is they're giving up a lot of tech out each book, and the jackpot is a whole year's premium maintenance service for a new weapon. That's so exciting. I can't I can carry it in my ears now. The forest of joy at my bro getting his premium service. This is uh, is referring to as well. That's because your bro is roaring right now. That's different. That's sort of excitement before we hit the jackpot. There's a huge difference. Anyway, seeing as it's a limited edition copy, everyone can only buy one each. So please help us out. Buying one more copy means one more chance at winning that prize. Hi, right, fine, whatever, I'll buy it for you. Thanks for your help, Miss Proxy. Check, bzz, bzz, bzz. Check out my bros, thanking you too. No matter what happens, my bro and I will always remember your kindness. You're welcome, Anton. Going after going back and forth to go with Anton before a confused how. Finally pick out two magazines aiming to ensure a happy lifestyle all year long for the bro. The bro has given so much to Billabog Heavy Industries to the construction of new Eridu. There's a year-long high-quality wet maintenance service. Okay, cool. Good for you, I guess. Finish my errands, challenges... Ah. Stuff I can't do right now. I am all. I am all. Ah, uh, yeah, no. I fork over no money. Because I am poor. Also, I don't really want to spend money on these games. I already play too many. Actually, I only play like three. Two or three. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Ben, how you doing? I put I pulled ten times in this chain and then ten times on that one. The math mathematical probably getting the doll that the present wants is going to be a little bit of Miss Proxy. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get a special prize surprise box. But no matter which way I look at it, the best option seems to be picking up at a second hand market. The joy in the light is in the end. No. That's quite folks plus. Philosophical Miss Proxy, I think I get it. It's like covering the place of origin and season on a can of caviar. When you taste it, you to enjoy the thrill of discovering a hidden treasure. If you're into designer ties like these, doesn't every single poll make you feel as though you're swimming a pickaxe to treasure hunting at the beach? The fun of a treasure hunt is something more worthwhile than the treasure itself. We should go treasure hunting. Where should we start digging then? Oh, no, there you go. The left knob. Click the round little gotcha tumbles down and emerges from the mist known as the marketing trap. It's proxy, you have pulled. Woohoo! Pass. Second in the Bangu era series, the sec special scented model. It's the type of Christian doll that the president wants. You now the favorite all sweet and delicate girls or something. Ahem, I overheard that at work once. Seems to me like your skeleton treasure hunter is just as good as your proxy craftsmanship. Alright, it's my turn next. Birth Byron reaches out his broad paw to carefully twist the knob. I pulled Lucky Bonus, one scratch card voucher, one handshake voucher from the owner of the new stamp. <laughs> handshake voucher, Mr. Hood, I decided to quit the surprise box business. Oh, it's because I spent time with Ben. What a big sweetie pie. Do I have enough to do any pulls? I don't think so. No. I don't have enough. Nope. Oh yeah, I think I got a new bang bang last time, so I need to upgrade it. Afternoon! Oh. Let's get your little companion some new parts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. I got a new part S chair one. Do not have upgrade materials for him. You got any questions? Come find me anytime. I'll be oh, here. There's another blue marker. That wasn't there before. Or I just didn't see it before. Is it done again? Oh no, it's... <laughs> Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Oh, you're here. It's feeling great right now. Looks like I'm about to get a limited edition. Well, let's make our first big call for the day. Which gush machine do you want to try? This one on the left or the one on the right? Don't ask for the power of your choice. Each of these machines can stir us in a different direction. So which one will guide our fate today? The one on the left or the one on the right? Let's do the one on the right. Alright, nah, I've got a bad feeling about it. I'm going to go for the one on the left. 
Then you just go for the one on the left. I had to check with you first since you're part of the divination too. All right, cool. The opinion is essential to fulfill the prophecy. Let's see what comes out. This is what a pity, a regular one. I already have it. Oh, well, I don't like it. It's not too bad. As I can just sell it secondhand. Let's go again. Put all my luck for today on the line. I play the gotcha machine with Nicole, and Nicole gets pretty lucky and wins quite a few rare ones. Good for you, Nicole. All right, that's enough for today. The lady with impeccable self-control like me would never go too far. Let's play together again sometime. It's been a while since I also checked on the store. Hold on. Sweet. Having envy as the crowder is kind of funny. Bad. Bad. I don't know if I have any family movies. I don't think. Oh, I do. That one. Suspicious investigator. Kind of videotapes. Do they have any of those here? Can I help you? You work here? Do you guys happen to have one of those documentary style videotapes that happen in Apollo with super exciting fight scenes? Got one of those? Like a pseudo documentary style tape with intense realistic in Apollo combat scenes. You don't sell illegal video material. Whoa, calm down. I should this place has a pretty big collection of rare movies, so I thought I'd try my luck. I just wanted to get my hands on something like this urgently. If you could help me, that'd be awesome. I have them despite being a personal quest, it's also for the association's benefit. Association's benefit? What? Since you're asking something, I said, Kid, have you ever thought about joining the HIA? It's pretty cool being a professional hollow investigator, wearing sharp uniforms, exploring all the mysteries inside the hollows, getting official subsidies from the authorities in the city, and a chance to become a star on one of your giant post on one of our giant posters. That's right, tons of kids like you can't wait to join the HIA and become investigators. Really? But plenty of people fail to pass the recruitment process. If you can't get into a great school, there's a cram school. If you can't get a driver's license, there's driving school. But nobody cares about kids who can't pass the investigator test. That's where I saw an opportunity. The hollow cram school I set up is a genius idea that's going to solve the graduate unemployment issue. Bring fresh talents to the HIA and help myself out financially. What do you think? How about ditching the dying video rental business to become an up and coming investigator? You said this industry is dying, but there's still a problem. All of a sudden, sign up wants to see real combat footage from inside the hollow. You're always watching one of ways they can find malign, and now some students are asking, are you even a real investigator, or have you ever been in a hollow? <clears> hmm. <throat> Investors aren't just idiots fighting ethereals all day. This class has to be the worst one I've ever taught. Have you ever been inside a hollow, though? Hmm, just look at this shiny investigator uniform. I'm the head lecturer at the Hollow Cram School and a bond fighter. Bonafide, battle-tested investigator for the HIA. We're straightly from, from inside the hollow or sharing internal videos, so I had to look for some unofficial hollow combat footage as a last resort. The tactical training course I teach really needs some first-hand footage as teaching material. Anyway, you can give me a buzz if you're interested in my class or if you find any of the footage I need. A hollow cram school helps people pass the investigator test. It sounds super sketchy. We pluck out the card he hands you and finally must shake off the shady investigator. The card reads, Mr. Mari, a former senior investigator and rookie investigator instructor. Guaranteed training under Hollow Cram School. Become a Hollow Expert in just 10 days. Mario seems to have a poster recruitment ads for his Hollow Cram School on the internet, too. Is this some kind of new entrapment scheme? Probably. Hmm, there's a flyer tucked in the notebook. Generous bounties for helpful citizens. Please see Office Mimi and Luminous Square for details. You grab that while going through the Luminous Square wise. Bounty? Do you think it's real money? Let's go see what's going on. Okay, I, I was about to say, I just on my the teleport there. Where is my brother? Oh, he's right there. I'm dumb. Hi, bro. Well, you're just in time. There's something I want to ask you. Have you got a minute? Of course. You about to enter? Yes. Alright, our business asset credentials got cleared, so we might have to go into the Luminous branch of Public Security with our papers to finish the whole process. Off we go again. A notice from Public Security? The process of renewing our business license went quite smoothly, but it seems like we still need to visit the public security office anyway.
Let's handle affairs at public security. Speaking of which, I wonder how that customer is doing. The one who rented the Port Peak last time. All right, 18. Can you please remember to keep an eye out for a spunky Thyron girl today? If she comes to return a movie, please get her name or register her as a member. Meanwhile, the Mountain Lions transfer station inside the Ballet Twins. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> Somebody must be thinking about me. I wonder who. Dang, you're finally back! I've missed you, you know. Yeah, that's oh, not weird. it's you. That's rather disappointing. And this is what you missed, right? Oh, alright! The Port Peak in HD! And it's the special videotape released with 20 seconds of extra footage! I'm gonna put this on right now. Go right ahead. There's lots of thrilling action scenes, and loads of blood and gore with chopped limbs flying around. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I love the music that plays for Jane, to be honest, the track that plays for her. Why so quiet all of a sudden? You scared? Uh, yeah, right. It's just, uh, I feel like when we're at work, uh, we should be a little more serious. I'll stand guard a little longer, and then when the others come back, I'll... Hmm? Hold on! Why did you bring the hostages out again? Ah, uh, Jane! You're back! <laughs> uh, you sure have been working hard. Uh, I'm going to take the hostages to the restroom. Again? How many times have you taken them already? You can only blame yourselves! What do you expect after giving me so much water? <laughs> Can't you just go in your cell? Go in my cell? Have you no shame? Everybody can see! Well, I go like that all the time. Uh, but if I keep doing that, our jail won't be very habitable anymore. Dude. Uh, did you have to go there? <laughs> Fine. Take them out. We can't have our little officer losing his dignity now. Do you need to call a few more guards to go with you? There could be ethereals lurking around this area. Uh, no, 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 no! No sweat, Jane! <laughs> The bathroom isn't far, and besides, uh, I know all the fissures and shortcuts around this part of the hollow. We'll be right back. How far away is the bathroom? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Miss Jane, you're back. What are you doing here? Where is the supply guard? Oh, him? He said his cheeks were really sore and his wrist was itchy. And he couldn't take it in so he ran off to the restroom. How did he manage to get it? Mm, I see where it gets around. The supplies are just outside the transfer station. Do me a solid and fetch those for me, would you? Alright, but we need the guard to handle the inventory and distribution of supplies, so we should wait for him. Miss Jane, you've been at it all night. Why don't you take a break? Check on stuff. I don't need it. I'm still wide awake. Never mind that. Stuff from that guard. Am I imagining there's something going on here? Hmm. For a trip to the bathroom, they sure are taking their time. Hey, what have you been feeding the hostages? Uh, uh, well, same as us. Some hardtack and some water. All right. According to your instructions, we were sure to pump that one from Pubsec full of water. And he ate the gross, salty, fish-flavored hardtack, too. And the medication? You mean the muscle relaxants? We have lowered the dosage before stopping it completely, just like you ordered. Really? Then they shouldn't be so slow. Maybe they ran out of paper. <laughs> Alright, night break's about to start. What's she 
don't know what that looks like. Ooh. Okay, I guess I'll keep going. Not good! We have a problem! Gone! It's all gone! <sighs> I knew it! Here you go, take this! My mom always taught me to keep a spare roll on me! Huh? What is this? Toilet paper?! Yeah, the bathroom's out of toilet paper. Right? What are you talking about? No! The hostages! The hostages all gone! <gasps> the hostages! The guard! That officer! Everyone's gone! The guard in the bathroom got knocked out! And that rookie escorting them betrayed us! He escaped with the hostages! What? The patrol has gone to update the boss! There's nothing he hates more than traitors. You can bet he's gonna come over here personally! We have got to go catch them, otherwise, we're all in for it! That kid... he really convinced someone to betray us. Listen up. Leave the chase to me. You'll only slow things- Okay! Oops, I clicked. My bad. <laughs> Didn't see this coming. Oh boy. I gotta chase them. Up ahead. They sure are fast. That idiot is triggering all the traps. What the cluster bombs? And a laser net. This smell. Watch out. Ethereal. Gotta focus on dodging. Good thing they didn't get attacked. <laughs> I clicked out by accident. They managed to make it deeper into the building. Not bad. Hmm. 
get stuck. <laughs> Seems I got my exercise for the day. Laser nut. Better not hurt my tail. Ma'am, I think we have bigger things to be worried about than your tail. They should be just up ahead. Gotta hurry. <laughs> so, did, did they really give you muscle relaxants? How did you manage to run faster than us the whole way? The thing with muscles is, as long as you're reasonable with them and motivate them, They'll always be able to move. In what universe does that make any sense? Oh, God. <sighs> no, just keep up. Didn't you just say we're almost at the exit? No, we're already here. This is the exit. <laughs> ah, I see. Let's go, people. You two head out first. Are, are you sure? But you're weak, officer. Wouldn't it be better if you got out first? Don't worry about me. Time is of the essence, and you all need to get out of here. Quick! <laughs> Thank you, Officer Seth. If it weren't for you, we definitely would have been... All in a day's work for a public security officer. Come on! Okay. You're next. <sighs> uh, what's wrong? Seth, can I... can I really cross it over to the other side? Can I... Doesn't really sound start so bad. over again? I'm gonna turn it down slightly. Could someone like me really get another chance? Maybe. That's not for me to decide. But if you stay here, you'll never find out. Thank you, Seth. I... Wait! Damn, they caught up. You, you, you stay away from me. I'm turning my back on this life of crime, Jane. And you should do the same. Shut up and listen. There are other paths you can take. Oh, what other paths? Oh, and he caught up. That voice is... It's Razor the Mountain Lion. A stern voice rings out from behind them, bustling footsteps and shouts can be heard approaching in the distance. The main force of the mountain lion gang surrounds them. We're surrounded. Just stay behind me. The rules of the streets, the rules of the gang, my rules. None tolerate a traitor. So, Jane, what other paths do they have? <sighs> Only surrender, of course. Surrender and submission. According to the rules, traitors should suffer a fate worse than death. But seeing as Jane says so, I'm willing to give a second chance. Yep. You kill the pop sex scum and I'll let you off lightly. <laughs> I'll give you three seconds to think it over. Three, two, one. I refuse. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> the side of number rings out and a barrage of bullets fly towards the two of them. Under the relentless suppressing fire, the traitor is quickly captured. <laughs> Somebody actually looks like it. Behave yourself, you rotten traitor. Oh, he refused your proposal, Jane. You know what to do next. Let me go! Don't you dare harm him! <coughs> give, give me another chance. Stop it! Jane! Don't do it! You can still turn this around! 
Shut up. Oh, he's just gonna straight up drop him. I want to start over. <laughs> I know. You will. No! Don't worry. You're up next. Bam. Jane, what are you doing? You breaking the rules now, too? No way, boss. Just, didn't you say, when the time's right, I can become a bodyguard? Yeah, so what? We mountain lions are fierce and unbeatable. Not even those pub sack idiots can stop us. It'd be a waste to get rid of him like this, don't you think? What's your point? With him here, I think the time has come. Let me fight in front of the gang to prove myself and earn a shot at promotion. I propose a duel in the lion's den. Hold it, Jane! Don't think you're all that! Only the boss calls the shots! Gentlemen, are you still in the dark? About the rumors on the streets? They say that in front of PubSec, mountain lions are just little scaredy cats. Our brothers caught, business stolen, operations ruined, territory shrinking. And what did we do in response? We ran. We hid. Scattered like mice, with our heads down. Jeez, Jane. Lions are creatures that hold honor above all. And this pub sack officer is the perfect opportunity to prove <laughs> Just ours. Him on the head. Let this duel make it clear to all other gangs. We are real lions. <laughs> and not some scaredy cats. B boss, I think Jane actually has a plan. Damn right, boss. How long have we been pushed around? Lions from Mountain Lions. Go show them, Jane. We support you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just going to the gang. <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> when the lion's den is ready, I'll send someone for you. Until then, keep an eye on the cat. You got it, boss. Much appreciated, boss. I won't let you down. All right. Well, let's put the escape roll ready with these. Our chance to should go up. It does. Can I wait to get this done? And the duel with Seth. I I'm prepared. Might as well. I don't know of anything. This mission not a hole in the, in the next of these mountain lions. Sherwell Lair, the mountain lions transfer station. It's here the hostages escape, plus the upcoming duel. Razor decides to evacuate the station early. Rest as the game begins packing everything up in a hurry. I finally managed to get things going. Keeping Seth alive while also using him as the bait I need to get into the lion's den. The escape supplies are all ready. My route and universal key card are all sorted. I just need a way to rescue Seth before our duel. Plus there's that guard kid. I dropped him off in a place where there were warnings of fissures potentially opening. He said he's been at this transfer station a while and knows all the fissures and shortcuts around this area. Guess I can only hope that he was telling the truth. Please, please be safe. Else you've just murdered a dude. Oh, so our strong newcomer who's going all out to become a bodyguard is someone who says her prayers, huh? <laughs> Just a little pregame prayer, nothing more. But as for you, don't tell me a majestic mountain lion bodyguard would stoop to eavesdropping. Seems like this will be easier than giving you no know I'm a bodyguard. I'm here on the boss's orders to take you to the lion's den. So everything is already set up for the fight? 
No need to shower, get changed, go over the rules, paint up some lion shirts, or anything like that. Come on, I was just kidding, Mr. Bodyguard. You don't have to be so nervous. I'll guide you through the fissure into the lion's den. We leave now. Gotcha. Just let me pack my things, and then... We leave. Now. <laughs> Why the rush? The lion's den isn't going anywhere. At least let me fix my makeup, okay? Jane, are you going to ignore the rules of the mountain lions? <sighs> fine, fine. Let's go now, then. You lead the way, Mr. Bodyguard. Ugh, it's starting so quickly that I didn't have time to grab my escape supplies. I had a feeling something like this might happen. Looks like I'll have to come up with an escape plan on the fly. Jane follows the mountain lion bodyguards down a corridor and through the innermost fissure. The strange feeling of ether energy brushing against her skin causes a slight tingling sensation. Stepping out of the fissure, Jane finds herself in a completely unexpected place. Is this... Hollow Zero? So the lion's den is hidden inside Hollow Zero. <laughs> Sometimes the most dangerous place is also the safest. Those pub sick cowards never go anywhere dangerous, but we mountain lions aren't afraid. So that's it. The mountain lions know the location of a stable fissure leading to Hollow Zero from a companion hollow. Every time they need to escape, they flee to this area in Hollow Zero. That's why public security could never find or catch them. <laughs> no wonder that transfer station is churning out supplies for anti-corruption serum. They must be used for holing up inside Hollow Zero. Once they're out of danger, they can slip out of the fissure and escape. <laughs> Impressive. That's our risky strategy, that only a group as bold and talented as yourselves could pull off. Don't be envious. You'll be joining our group of bold and talented people soon enough. But you have to prove yourself! Why do you just shove Jane from behind for her to fall down from the platform on which they were standing? Hey, what gives? The duel will be just up those stairs there. You can go up once you meet all the requirements. Uh, hang on. Nobody said anything about a qualification round before the duel. Becoming a bodyguard is the boss's way of acknowledging you, but we mountain lions need to see you prove yourself first. If you want a shot at the duel, then you'll have to make it there on your own. This is also one of our rules. You call that a rule? It's just a way to wear me down before the fight. <laughs> Rules are rules. Plus, weren't you praying just now? This little trial should be a cinch for you. Come on, newbie. We're looking forward to seeing how you do. <sighs> Seriously. Another task to collect access cards. Let's start investigating. The target's over there. Hmm, like right, three cards. The rules. <laughs> they really couldn't come up with anything better to test me. Don't be sorry. It'll be over soon enough. Great. That's the first access card. Take it won't be that easy to become a bodyguard. No, oh, it's easy. I just need to beat all of you up. Move no it. escape. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Ow. A little gift for ya. Let's keep going. An ambush. So predictable. Don't get hit. Let's make this quick. Here's a taste of the abyss. Maybe not get stuck on everything? Great. There. That's the second access card. Only one more to find. Oh, okay. I have to go back. Okay. Ah, out okay. here. <laughs> so you are here too. Don't expect me to go easy on you. No escape. Watch out. <laughs> The pressure is on. <laughs> all right, that's all three of them. Time to go and get promoted. Oh, wait. She heals me. There we go. Is my bang boo? Alright, so not that way. Oh, I guess I need to take that. Ah, there he is. Between the mountain lines to gain the trial, drain some of the steps, top the platform, Razor's mountain lion bodyguards wait, along with two other people. Razor? What a great surprise. Are you here to congratulate me on passing the trial? I see you even brought that little pub sec prince with you. Jane! They- ugh. Shut up, you pub sec maggot! <laughs> Careful with the goods. He's going to be my trophy in a moment. I want to defeat a real, living public security officer. To have the gang cheering my name, and to feel the joy of stomping him into the ground. Don't spoil my fun. Jane Doe, the new cub of the Mountain Lions. You have completed the path of promotion and earned the recognition of the gang. You okay, hereby beats? qualify as my loyal and trusted bodyguard. It's an honor, Aww. boss. He just sat down. He's like, I can't navigate. But there's one final step to take before you earn your official place in the duel. Whatever you say, boss. But before that... Huh? As she listens to Razor's order, Jane suddenly turns around to dodge a bodyguard who is approaching her from behind with a weapon. Jane restrains her assailant, firmly pressing her dagger into his ribs. <laughs> Trying to ambush me, huh? Afraid I'm coming for your position. Guess you couldn't help being anxious. And you even dared to pull a cheap trick like that in front of the boss. Uh, I was just gonna break one of your hands, that's all! <laughs> You really think I'm gonna forgive you just because you spilled the beans so easily? Kindergarten ended 20 years ago, buddy. Go explain yourself to the boss. <laughs> I don't have to explain anything. Because... Huh? <laughs> A sharp pain shoots from behind as unexpectedly powerful impact to the air. It was probably Razor who ordered it. Break one of her hands. That was my order. Boss, Razor, you, why? 
Jane, I want you to lose to this pub sec punk in the duel. Then I can go up there and kill him myself. As long as you fight well enough, I'll arrange for someone to escort you to a hospital in New Eridu immediately after the duel. This is one of my rules for your promotion. You're asking me to go up there and lose on purpose and pretend it's real? What kind of stupid rule is that? But responding rage that Torn picks Jane up by the throat, as if already knowing what would happen next, the other lackeys back away with sinister smiles. You're a cut above the rest, Jane, but you're always missing the point. The rules of the fight, the rules of promotion, my rules. The point isn't the rules, it's that they're mine. <laughs> Me, Razor. I'm the only authority. I'm the only explanation. And I'm the only leader. I am the mountain lion. And only I represent the mountain lions. I need bodyguards who can protect me and my reputation, not some stinking ambitious rat. You've already defied me twice now in front of everyone, strutting your stuff around in my gang. I've been lenient enough to not just get rid of you, so you'd better listen to my orders now. Thanks, This whole circus is just because you're afraid of losing faith and status. I thought you might have figured out my secret. <laughs> but it turns out a stopped clock is right twice a day. Secret? What do you mean? <laughs> the same narrow-minded thinking and boring ambitions. All you're doing is fighting for power like stray cats on the street. <laughs> How ridiculous. You think you're all that with your arrogant attitude. That's what I hate about you. But it doesn't matter. I've got loads of time. So let me teach you a little something about my rules. <laughs> <laughs> You brat, what are you doing? I can't stand dishonesty. I've heard enough and I've taken enough. You demand loyalty, but will sacrifice your companions on a whim for your own greed. Jane, do you get it now? The filthy nature of these gangsters. If you would have just agreed to my terms, we could have avoided all this nonsense. I agree but you're to just your so terms. obsessed with. Uh, hang on. What did you say? I agree to your terms. Turning over a new leaf, changing for the better. Okay, I agree. <laughs> what? Uh, huh? <laughs> I mean it. Just try pulling on the cuffs with both hands. It's no use. The muscle relaxants have... Huh? They broke. My strength is back. But how? You sweat more being agitated, and you drink a lot of water. Right? I don't want to talk about the bathroom, Jane. Urination plus sweating speeds metabolism enough to almost completely process the medicine. So that's why you made me drink all the- Man is like, what the fuck are you doing? now you betray me! Well, you heard him. I'm tired of the drama. I'm done. And I can let myself out. I've already got the key. Card? You swiped it when you were getting beaten up? <laughs> Fine. Even better. I'll just kill the traitor then. It'll boost my rep all the same. Here we go. I'll show you how much weight a mountain lion's name carries. Any last words? No. You're the prey. <laughs> Back up here. Execution continue. I'll 
make it painless. Damn it! My armor's failing! A little gift for ya. It's not over! The final act begins now. My power system's down! The pressure's on. I will not lose! She's like cut that way too close. For a while, somewhere on the Bali Twins transfer station escape route. Get them! Don't let them escape! Avenge the boss! These guys are so persistent. Are they really that hungry for revenge? <laughs> You're underestimating Razor's influence. Go around! Go around! There's only one exit, Fisher! We'll cut them off! <sighs> we finally made it. Jane, I never thought you'd dare to take out Razor. I knew there was something off about you right from the... <sighs> yeah, yeah, all right already. We're about to fight, so save your breath. <laughs> what? You think you're the big boss man now that Razor isn't around anymore? Ha! <laughs> Still acting smug even though it's the end now, huh? You'll regret hurting the boss! All you talk about is the boss, and follow him around like a little lapdog. What did you like about him anyway? How loud he got when he was cussing you out? You went to that. You... shut your mouth! Am I wrong? I never saw Razor show you any kindness, yet you still liked him. Oh my god, Don't tell someone's me you see him as a father figure. Jesus. Uh, Jane, I think that's enough. You hear that? Even the pub sec officer thinks you're pathetic. The big bad daddy who cussed you out every day is gone. And yet you still miss him. What are you? A bunch of daddy's boys. Oh my god. Uh, hang on. I did not say that. I said shut up! You... you traitor! I'm gonna make you pay! We cubs of the mountain lions will... Uh, actually, Cubs isn't completely accurate. I certainly didn't think of Razor as a father figure. I know! It's just a metaphor, get it? Don't let that sewer rat toy with you anymore! We've got them surrounded! Get them! Oh, oh, what's going on? Was that coming from the fisher? Oh, the... Oh. You have the right to remain silent! Oh, there he Anything is. He's right. Can and will be used against you in a court of law. You finally caught up. <laughs> Captain Zhou Yuan, Jingyi, everyone, and you. You're that guard kid. You're still alive? How? You're surrounded. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Woohoo! I think we did the thing. Wait, 
You yawn at work too, Chingy? Aren't you an automaton? Yes, but that's irrelevant. Exhaustion is a state of mind, not the body. Or, to put it another way, yawning is like the soul burping from eating too much boredom. Plus, yawns are contagious. No way! There's no way I'll yawn before the captain gets out of the commendation meeting. Big <sighs> oh, E yawn, damn it. <laughs> you should listen to your elders. Anyway, I'm bored right now, so could you do that thing again, Seth? What? No, I don't want to. Don't be shy. Here, I'll help you start. <clears throat> Captain, please listen to me. I'm with a mountain lion bodyguard called Jane. I'm supposed to arrest her, but I persuaded her to turn over a new leaf. I'll bet my reputation that she can change. Captain, please trust me. Come on, Chingy. Enough already. And then Zhu Yuan replies. Seth, let me introduce you. This is Jane Doe, a criminal behavioral expert who's been working with us for a long time now. She's part of the operation as an informant. I'm sorry that the situation was a bit complicated this time. I'll tell you more details later. Captain, is the meeting over? How can you remember everything so perfectly? Oh, how could I forget? Especially with your funny expression at the time, Seth. But don't be upset. It's thanks to you and Jane that we could finally wrap up this whole operation. You can be happy about that. Speaking of which, what about Jane? Why isn't she here for the secret commendation? Apparently, there's a new case that requires her as a consultant, and she's already set out to make preparations. She said she needed to go repay a favor first. She showed- yep, she found the video store. We all the random play video store on 6th Street, Janice Carter. Still crooked? Mm, I think a little to the left? No, no, try a little to the right. Val, we've been over this three times already. Just give me an accurate answer so I can hang up this business license. And if you can't tell, then ask Fairy to help you. Come on, bro. How can you say that? I'm totally serious in watching you hang it, aren't I? Fine. So is it still crooked now, or...? Mm, a little more to the left? Ah, uh, a little to the right. What a hassle. A real hassle, huh? But the smile on your face is lighting up the room. Huh? You're... You're the rat Thyron who rented the poor peak last time! <laughs> Glad you remember me. Am I interrupting something important here? Not at all. I was just getting back at my brother for always making me eat noodles whenever we go out shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it is. You can come down now, Mr. Manager. It's hanging perfectly straight now. You got it. <sighs> Oh, my hands are sore now. Uh, thanks for rescuing me there. Are you here to return the videotape? That's right. I brought back your copy of the Port Peak. Here you go. Got it. Hmm. The tape doesn't seem damaged at all. Great. I'll just get your deposit back for you. One second. So how was it? Is your friend hooked on it now? Huh? <laughs> my friend? Who do you mean? Huh? Last time... Didn't you say that you were renting it out for a friend? You said that he pretends to be brave, but is actually a wimp. Just like my bro here. I can hear you, you know. Ah, right. I guess I did say that. Sorry, my memory isn't the best. I even forgot what my friend said about the movie. <laughs> to compensate, let me register for your highest tier membership. And I'll buy your highest value gift card. Plus, I'll be sure to recommend your store to all my friends, okay? Oh, no, no worries at all. I'm always the one who forgets things. But let me get that membership card for you right now. Well, the bang was just staring off into nothing in the background. Thanks for your patronage. Thousand-yard stare. May I ask your name for the account? You can call me... Jane. Tactics, combat techniques, claim, and then enter not. Alright, um, uh, the 
this commission. Oh, there must be another one. Not this. Because the notifications annoy me. Take a break. I guess I'll go to bed. Let's play out of the way. Now it's time to catch up on some shut eye. Time for some sleep. I'm getting taken down. The Fallen Mountlands were said to be a brutal yet cunning game. They must have caused a lot of harm to the citizens. This type of syndicate got taken down by public security. Despite our different points of view, those officers exact by our own standards of justice in their own way. And even though we don't know who the hero that day was, I'm sure they did so out of the goodness of their heart. Maybe. You fall asleep without even realizing it, probably because you're exhausted. Oh, has been updated, Master. Thank you. There you are, Belle. Got something to share. Trevor just contacted us. He said we were going to go around 6th Street later for work and wants to meet. What about our request? Yeah, he asked him now for a scope of questions. They had a ring so we could track down Pearlman. Maybe he's found something. Give me him now, Belle. Sure, let's go. Another storyteller. The store is pretty empty right now. I'll close up and ask him to swing by. Why not? Wonder Trevor walks into the store. My old friends, the two Faithins. It's been a while. How have you both been lately? Not too bad, thanks to you. Of course, if you could get us the business we need, things would be even better. Oh, dear. Well, when you say it like that, I'm not quite sure how to put the next part. Looks like you don't have any good news for us today. Please, hear me out. It's completely out of my hands. The city has recently beefed up security measures for the election. Not just on the main roads. They've also got people stationed on the hollow exits leading to the outer ring. Although there have always been quite a few outer ring smugglers using the hollows for transport, risks have skyrocketed recently, and most clients have given up on doing business in the city for now. Even if you find someone willing to risk it, those small fry definitely won't have what you're looking for. So you passed up on my valuable commission to do business in the Outer Ring. You're looking for a reliable source of intel, right? Shepard, you know us all too well. Well, we've been partners for a while now. Don't worry, I don't need to know the details. Though I don't have any business for you, I didn't come here for nothing. Here's my two Denny's. If you're looking for information, try to get in with the Outer Ring biker gangs. Biker gangs? The people of the Outer Ring live far apart, and the transportation of supplies relies heavily on the biker gangs. They're well respected among the residents, and nothing happens there without them knowing about it. It's unfortunate that this option is beyond the scope of my business, so this is all the help I can offer you. <clears throat> Well, that's all I have to say. I'll let you get back to your business. If you change your mind and want to make some easy money in the near future, feel free to contact me anytime. Thank you. We'll think about it. See ya. Now we've got some useful intelligence. I got a useful piece of intel, but it won't make finding Pearlman any easier. We don't have any other choice. The outer ring is completely out of our scope of operations. Speaking of which, finding intel on Perlman has been harder and harder in the city lately. Even Fairy hasn't been able to find any useful leads. Belle, this whole thing is strange to me. Ah, uh, I get what you're saying, Wise. The Outer Ring's huge, but for one person to survive there, it would be impossible to stay completely off the grid. Exactly. Perlman's escape caused quite a stir, and public security is looking for him. You'd think there'd be all kinds of intel on him by now. How does a living, breathing person disappear into thin air? Days later, no longer after the airship hijacking, the sent in the outer ring oil 
old oil field district. I said I give up! You win! <laughs> now that's more like it, old man. If you'd spoken up sooner, we could have saved ourselves the effort. All right. Any other challengers? All right, this is the new uh, Anyone agent. Anyone else? Big Daddy, we got the spark stone. Now you can't say it's not the right time for us to join the Torch Inferno. We, the sons of Caladon, are the strongest. This time, I'm going to swipe while the iron's hot and seize the Overlord's throne. <sighs> it's strike while the iron's hot, you idiot. <laughs> The Overlord's throne, huh? Caesar, well, my opinion hasn't changed. Since you've earned the right, go test the waters. Huh? Aren't you coming with us? I'm retired. This kind of action-packed stuff should be left to the young'uns. Why can't we get him as an agent? He sounds awesome. Besides, someone's got to look after the transport business. Caesar! Big Daddy! We found something amazing over there! Oh, it's an airship! This is the first time I've seen one up close! Hey, Caesar, there's a live one over here. Such a serious accident, this guy's lucky to be alive. I feel like I've seen this face before. I have her. I think I, yeah, I think I also have this agent. I have these two, I believe. It's not just any guy. This is the defendant in that vision case from the city. He's on the public security's most wanted list. So much money! Enough to drink nitro fuel like water for the next 30 years! Enough to buy five steel tusks? <sighs> public security sure is generous. Public security? No! Don't hand me over to public security! Uh, I'm begging you! I, I know who the real mastermind is! I have evidence of their crimes! Evidence! At this time inside random play, I have another Actually, I'm thing. starting to doubt if Perlman is even still alive. We can still rely on hand for the sacrifice investigation. But I'm afraid the Cunning Hare's lawsuit might be on hold for a while. Master, second assistant. There is an incoming call from Billy. Should I connect the call for you? Right on cue. Fairy, put the call through. Oh, manager, you're home! I just sent you a message, but you didn't reply. Hi, Billy. Sorry, I was dealing with some customers. Didn't check my phone. Manager, I have something really important to tell you, but I'd prefer to do it face to face. I'm at the corner behind Bardic Needle. Can you meet me there? Billy, you're close by. Why don't you just come to the store? Uh, because the vehicle I'm driving won't fit through. Uh, wait, a public security officer is coming over. I gotta talk to them real quick. Hey, so I'm hanging up. I'll be waiting. I'm counting on you. Billy said his car wouldn't fit through? I don't get it. They've parked here lots of times before. Mm, it's probably not his Seems car. He has something important to say. Belle, you should go meet him. Yeah, where he's just lying. It's Billy. Tour is now available in the wilderness far from the city. Okay, yeah. So basically, now I've caught up to Tour de Forno because this just started, I think, a couple weeks ago. I did the same thing with AFK Journey as I had to speed through so much content just to get caught up. Speaking of, I don't think I vlogged it. So while waiting on this ad break. Actually, this is a chance to go to the bathroom, so we'll be right back.
this commission. Close. Yes. <sighs> Do I have enough to single search? I don't think so. No. no. Billy, did you change jobs? Billy, have you left the cunning hairs? What's with the leaps and bounds truck in this bamboo? No way. I'm pretty happy with my life now. And besides, the boss hasn't paid me one denny of my bonus yet. This truck and the bamboo both belong to the Sons of Caledon, one of the outer ring biker gangs. The truck has a new Eridu entry pass, and recently non-residents have had to queue for a long time to get in and out of the city. So I'm helping them transport goods. After all, I used to work for them. I didn't know you spent time in the ring. I didn't know you spent time in the outer ring. Yeah. Actually, I lived in the outer ring for a while. It was a stroke of luck that eventually brought me to the city. Manager, we can chat about this later. I have something important to tell you. The sons of Caledon have intel on Pearlman. Is it credible? It's solid. Their second in command told me personally. Manager. The Sons of Caledon know we're looking for Pearlman. They said they can provide exclusive intel on one condition. They want to talk business with Faith and face to face. They want to meet proxy. You mean they're looking for a proxy? They didn't put it like that, but that's my guess. Manager, though we really need Pearlman for the case we're handling, Nicole said we owe you. So you have the final say on who to work with. Anyway. I'll be helping the Sons of Caledon upgrade their Bang Boo and purchase supplies in the city over the next few days. And then I'll head out to meet them. If you want to meet them face to face, you should come with me. Alrighty. Now I have to go talk to Bruno. Belle, you're back. What did Billy want to talk about? You tell why is what just happened. The Sons of Caledon, one of the Outer Ring biker gangs, has info on Pearlman. But they want to talk business face to face. Bell, what's your take on this? Since they need a proxy, our chances of getting info on Pearlman are quite high. Right. But the Outer Ring is a wild place, and we don't know what the risks are. I'm not comfortable letting you go alone. Billy will be there too. Plus, he's still doing favors for his old boss, so they must have a pretty good relationship. All right, I get it. The good thing is that the Outer Ring isn't under New Eridu's jurisdiction, and proxies can operate there unrestricted. So, we don't have to worry about anyone finding out that we're Faith in. Bell, you should spend the next Maybe. couple of days preparing for the trip and taking care of any loose ends. Contact Billy and tell him about her decision, Bell. Her decision, Bell. Are you all set for your adventure? I'm gonna take a look at a few things. Oh, hey, there's something in the record box. Seems like there's something in the record crate. Flowers again. And guess wrong. It's just a lot of time. But judging by the handwriting, it should be from the same person who sent flowers before. Dear Storm, hello. Thank you for two assists from your shop. Today, we are excited to introduce your newly cultivated flowers to customers. And we hope to invite you to come and appreciate them with us. Steve Gardening Shop. Do gardening shop. It's the first luminous car, right? Maybe that bird who's been costuming all along is a big sister about this. I'll go check out the forest. Hi, Norn. Hi, my dear warrior. Welcome to this amazing new world. Huh? Fortunately, the street is currently under threat from the Demon King's army. But are looking in the shadows or attack at any moment. Now, please follow my instruction and embark on your epic journey. Own your skills. Along your journey and defeat the Demon King. What are you talking about? I get that you might be confused, very warrior, but please hear me out. So I'll tell you the long standing feud between the Demon King and this village. Uh -huh. Well, a long time ago, when my grandfather's grandfather was just a young lad, was. Hey, wait, I'm just trying to sound like I can see in an RPG game. Don't I sound like one of them? I don't know what you're talking about. Beans, what are you doing? Hi! Like, Mom, this space is suddenly open. Yes, but you shouldn't sit on this one. No, you shouldn't sit on it. Go on, down. 
This is weird. I was Im imitating the closet lines, the old village chief from the dungeons and dumbass. <laughs> that was wrong. Uh, that's right, I'm gonna lose to that guy. Ew. Well, actually, my friend Pryor and I are having a contest to see who can do a better imitation than in-game PCs. Acting out for a while now, finally getting some attention, you're telling me my imitation is terrible. What should I do? I don't want to lose the contest. Could you go check out what he's doing? He said he was heading to the metro, so please go there and see. Um, I mean, please leave the village, cross the mountains, head to the metro, and find the missing village named Pryor, who's been gone for days, dear warrior. Alright. Pink. Like, Mom! Hey, Bean! I mean, it's not like you didn't deserve it, Sauce, but still. Take a step too late, huh? Fantasy with aliens. Fantasy of beans from off planet does not bring the call. Alien beans, so this one? Don't touch. I hope this video don't hang for a while so I can forget my worries about my part time job. Worries about your part time job? <laughs> Spotify did straight last week handing out flyers that day off. I still couldn't save any money because I spent everything I earned over the weekend. It's tough to make ends meet. Maybe I need to take on more jobs. By the way, manager, do you need any help with promotion, like handing out flyers on the street? I can do it part time and I'll give you a discount on large amounts of flyers. Promotion is fine, but handing out flyers, really, how about a different person that will help with your promotion for free? Free? I mean, free financially, but in return, you help me out with when I'm working on 6th Street. I'm not handing out flyers with you. I wouldn't ask you to do that. Just, you know, if you see me handing out flyers on the street, come over and act in the Beans, get down! Buddy! Yeah, that's the acoustic foam, isn't it? Yeah. He looks so sad because he has his head down. It does sound like a win-win situation. Great, see you then. Call me anytime you need help from the project. Cool, so I have another promoter. Awesome. Okay. Impressions of corn. Grumps to be lacking confidence. She always panics about everything. Oh, hey, Billy. Billy. Billy cares for his weapon like he cares for himself. I can't be the one to play. Want to hang out? Let's go! You're asking me out? I'm flattered. <laughs> Billy, is you where you want to go? But nine. I want to hang out and have a good time. Wow, you're really thinking highly of me, Andrew. That's touching. <laughs> Where would you like to go? I'm down for anything. Oh, Godfinger. Cool. I was fine to play a few rounds too. Great minds think alike. Which said that my skills have really leveled up lately. Gotta get you. Nah, I won. I'm sorry to get excited. When are we waiting? The sooner the better. Uh, we'll put it in the afternoon. Ah, oh, skill and you're working. Right, that's still pending. Let's go out. Mm -hmm. I guess I should check. Oh, do I have another die. anxious office worker? Oh, I hate this. The metro is crowded. I get it on. I spilled my drink during lunch. I have to go to meetings and I'm clocked out. Something's just been. Just need a cathartic action film. 
Let's make sure it was not for the peaceful Australia special edition. The videotape seems to be right up my alley. Thank you, you're the store manager, right? Yes. Oh, it's pressure you're an entrepreneur such a young age for me. I work my butt off every day and have to shoot myself with my own money. Whatever, we're going to spoil us out with this videotape tonight. Good for you. I'm going to run into the wall. Let's take a look see here. High risk, hard, hard. Oh, I already did all these. Explorer. Hard, the puzzle, the missing painting. Are you saying that I have to put it all? Eh, it's useless. What the, what the? I'm just pinging my phone. Oh, it's just telling me it's almost bedtime. It's just something going on with our guy. Anyway, let's kick some butt. Dear Master, this time we're going to up to the building and take the famous painting gentleman with the bangaboo. Justin, based on Phantom Thieves, Modus Operandi, does recommend that you post your own warning. The Thrails in the Ballet Timmons tonight is destined to be a sleepless night. Now please follow the custom of the Phantom Ministry and make a diz dazzling entrance in an unbelievable way. Uh, yeah, so I get the infrared camera. Use my vision goggles to disperse these guys. I know, that's what I'm doing. Until you interrupted me. Okay, so... Now, sir, to cover the excuse of an exhibitionary, you can now try shutting down the EMP device.
Master Hollow Rider. A Hollow Rider is waving at you from ahead. Okay. Hey, remember to come find me if you change your mind. So I need to find a key. This door needs a key. Let's go find it. Master Hollow Raider is stealing all the oil paintings. We have alerted the ethereals nearby. Please make me switch from Phantom Thief mode to Pirate mode and eliminate your pastels. What? to the Earth's core! Go, Ben. You and your slow bear butt. Good luck. Stop me! 
<laughs> Master of the Hollow Girls escape, the remaining paintings are unscathed. You can safely achieve the painting now. Thanks, fairy. So I'll grab that. Dear Master, in front of us is the pearl of the contemporary art world, a treasure of the ballet twins, gentlemen with the bamboo. Master, you have wonderfully honed the rule of the rogue industry and never return empty handed. Cool. I stole a painting. Found a storage device labeled View Exhibits. Accessing device data. Number two, art collection anomaly. Item grading tier one error. Quantity error. Number of items in collection. Don't do the thing. Does not match the work There are currently eight items in the collection. Warning. Collection quantity error. Number of items in collection. Number, number two, general demand does not match the current record. There are currently eight items in the collection. Make sure please handle it properly. Make sure please handle it promptly. The MP security system in the existing printer has been fully activated. Please not use electronic devices. Got a key. Grab that. Better hand these over to Ben. We need to go up here to get this. Yep, I have a key. Aw. <laughs> what a goober. Master of the Crypt of the Crystal. Try shutting down the MP. Yes, I need to shut it down. So I can't use the infrared otherwise. This area isn't safe. We might need to let the ghost out of the MP range. Oh, I guess I have to. Ah, there it is. That was a bit of a goof. This way. Yes. Now can I disable it? There we go. What? Why can't I disable it? Okay. Disable it now. There we go. Okay. I have to use Night Vision Mode for this part. Oh. Right. Reopen that, please. Thank you. to fill my punching bag. Please don't, Billy. Hmm. Huh. Who actually makes these gear coins? Oh, I don't think I can use it. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Maybe that wasn't so bad. One opens that. One opens that. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I'll just have to put those basically turn off the MP. Off. Yes, I'm going to turn this off. There we go. And turn this one off. change. Yeah. <laughs> 
Safety first. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Better hand these over to Ben. Must be collected six paintings of John Locke Bang Leo. You up from the average level of fan of thieves in the industry. <laughs> now you can start how to place them. You can hide these first part in a spatial stable area to reduce the chance of losing them. In my stable areas. Here located a suitable hiding spot for you. Okay, so I found the exit. I'm gonna mark the location of the painting securely. It shows that there are two other paintings down on the bangle like of these paints. Um, if you're a perfectionist, you can collect them all. Hello, kitty. Hi, Bean. It is really creepy to see you stare out from the shadows with that going on. Hi, bud. Better hand these over to Ben. Just flopped on my blanket. Okay. Turn that on so I can see. Yes, buddy? There it is. Nope, turn that back on, please. What, Bean? What's up, buddy? Why are you sad? I mean, I know why you're sad. You're wearing a cone. I'd be sad, too. You waiting for are you upset mom's not home yet? Get off there, please. Yes. Come this way. I think it's the spot here. Oh, okay, not quite, but you know. Oh, what's this? Ask about the whereabouts man. What are you thinking? Don't even think about taking this one. Oh, did he have? I think this has the last painting. I guess, because he got mad. So I guess we'll see. Oh, 
Poor man to the ground. He is very dead. So then, where's the last painting? Am I just crazy I didn't get them all? I and I got them all. I don't know. I have to make my way back. Where the fuck am I? Wait. Can I go this way? Yes, I did. That's over here. Okay. I think I got them all, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Get ready. <clears throat> Please decide what to do next. You've collected eight paint. Oh, I have collected all eight. Okay. So the bang, that bang baby was holding one. I did it, I think. Sweet. Well, okay. I think this is going to be a good place to stop for the evening because I'm pooped. So. I am gonna head off tonight. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon. I'm gonna try to finish Parasite Eve tomorrow. Originally was gonna play Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake Integrate, but like, and then didn't finish Final Fantasy, or I didn't finish Parasite Eve just the other day. So I'm gonna finish that, or attempt to finish that. I'm not that far from the end of the game, it's just I'm at the part of the game, and basically I'm at the end of the game and it gets really hard. It like the difficulty ramps really high up for some weird reason. So, I am gonna get to sleep. Who am I? Venera is online. How long has she been streaming for? Only an hour and a half, so it's not that long. They're playing Sonic Battle. Why is it up? Monkey boy should be asleep. Anyway, it looks like Winra is playing some Sonic Battle. So I'm going to send you all over to there. And thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you had a relaxing time, a pretty relaxing time and hanging out with me. And I'll see you all tomorrow, of course, in Paris at Eve. And then after that, I will be posting a new schedule. So I have an idea what my work week will be. So it'll make it easier. Let's get this right. Uh, whoops. I apparently don't know how to raid anymore. It's Minera. That's how tired I am. But thanks for tuning in, guys. You guys have a good night. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you all on the next stream you tune in on. Enjoy some Sonic Battle. Thanks,